With regard to Content Manchester, and there are some other names that are around. Some people may know it as Kirkvine, and, and um, some people may know it as South Kendall. We are, we are speaking about the same area. What is happening there is that in one sentence, groundwater has been rising. Why is groundwater rising? Now, that is the scientific question. What is happening is that there's an aquifer. Water is flowing underneath the whole of those lands and those properties. But it is not the normal aquifer that a lot of you are accustomed to, which is a sand, earth kind of aquifer. It is more limestone. So because of the limestone, there are a number of conduits and caves and caverns that are underground. So the groundwater has been flowing into, into the area. What is happening also is that groundwater advances very slowly. It doesn't advance forward underground as fast as a river flows above ground. So because it advances slower, and we had a lot of rain through Melissa, a lot of rain before Melissa, it means that our aquifer, in simple terms, filled up. And since it can't go forward as much, it has been rising instead. Now, in this area, there are sinkholes. And normally, these sinkholes pull the water away, drain the water away from the low-lying areas. But in this instance, because the aquifer has so much water, which, which is under so much pressure, it's pushing water up the sinkholes. So the sinkholes are having a reversed effect. And that is where the water actually, most of the water has been sourced from that is coming into the content area. This was recognized. Um, over a period of a little bit more than a month from prior to Melissa, we'd been monitoring. And underground, the water has risen roughly 300 feet from the normal level that the aquifer was at. It has risen roughly 300 feet. A little bit more now, because now it has also popped out and is coming up out of the ground in these areas. We've been, we have installed monitoring gauges in that area. And over, the t over time, we had been seeing for the last two weeks, essentially, a groundwater rise above surface of one foot per day, which is a very high rate of flow of rise for, for, this, for, the, for this area. And um, just of late in the last 24 to 36 hours, we've been noticing a little bit of a fluctuation where it slowed down a bit, sped up a bit. So we're hoping. And I can only say that we're hoping at this stage that the, that the groundwater balance is balancing out and then no eventually will start receding. Is this the first time that this is happening there? No, it isn't, actually. We had a major flood in that area in 2002. And we also had a very serious flood there in 1977 when, as a matter of fact, um, unfortunately, two lives were lost in that instance. In this instance, um, a lot of care has been taken by the, the powers that be. I understand that the member of parliament, the councillors, everybody had jumped up and got mobilized. All of the people that were in that area, and I under, it is my understanding that a lot of what was happening there, a lot of the property has been salvaged, saved, and been put away for preservation so that, so that the, the people would not have lost that. So the question is, when is it going to re re recede? When is it going to really start receding? That is something that we can't say immediately. However, the other question is, how fast will it take to go down once it starts receding? Well, that is, that is once it starts receding, our gauges are there. We can monitor those gauges, and then we can now give an, an estimate of how long it will take to recede. The last time, June 2002, in early June, the flood started, and the end of June, the, the, it, it had basically receded. So in that instance, it, once it started receding, it took about three weeks. We will see what is happening here in this case. And that is the situation, essentially, for Content Manchester.